let us try to understand the left out category of production that is based on the production how much production does a product comes from the industry and the product if it is in the very strong content or the good which is coming out from the particular industry if it is very strong in nature then it is called heavy industry for example the heavy industry example is iron industry so iron industry falls in three major categories one is in the raw material industry that is in the mineral based category next we have the productivity base industry where it gives a base for other industries to have it as their raw material and now it is coming under the category of heavy industries now the other category is light industry all the other electrical equipment what we use comes under this category of light that is electrical equipments now moving on from the categories of industries to understand what is an agro based industry and let us discuss few examples of agro based industries the agro based industry is an industry where it derives its raw materials from the agriculture raw materials so the industry which get its raw materials from agriculture is called agro based industry the examples of the industries which are associated to agro based industries are cotton industry jute industry silk industry woolen industry sugar industry and the edible oil industry and among these all industries the textile industry has got a significant place in the indian context when it comes to our country the textile industry plays a very very vital role the production of the textile industry has been going up in economy to up to 14% the industrial production is the only industry where the production has been consistently growing up to 14% and nearly 35 million people are employed directly the specialty of the textile industry is 35 million people are employed directly and this is the second largest industry after agriculture where such a huge number are deriving their employment opportunities from the textile industry and moving on to understand about the foreign exchange we are getting nearly 24.6% which means nearly 25% of the foreign exchange of our country is derived from this textile industry and then 4% it contributes nearly 4% for the entire country's gross domestic product and still we have special significance for our textile industry that is the textile industry is the only industry which is self reliant it is not dependent on any other core related industries it is a self reliant industry and it completes the chain by itself that is the other special significant point about the textile industry so the agro based industries the industries which derive their raw materials from the agricultural fields or agricultural backdrop is called agro based industries the examples for agro based industries are cotton jute silk woolen sugar and edible oils and the special significance of the textile industry in regards to indian background is it contributes nearly industrial production for 14% 35 million people are employed directly and it is the second largest industry after agriculture textile industry foreign exchange it contributes up to 25% of the entire india's foreign exchange 4% of the country's gdp and it's the only industry where it is self reliant and completes the entire chain without having link with the other industries so the second largest industry provides employment for large scale people is the textile industry that's how it is making a remarkable contribution from the agro based industries corner if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus